Rain removed 33 overs of a stop-start opening day of the LV County Championship match at Emirates Old Trafford between Lancashire and Glamorgan. The home team knew that a win here will be enough for them to win promotion with time to spare. Stephen Croft batted after winning the toss and looked to Carl Brown and first-class debutant Hasib Hamid to get them off to a good start. In the last couple of weeks, 18-year-old Hamid has turned out for the England under-19 side against Australia and attained his A-levels. And now this. The players were on and off for showers in a morning session which delivered only 22 overs. It was a similar story in the afternoon, but nothing disturbed Brown, who played some delightful shots in making 39 runs of an opening partnership of 76, which used up 37 overs overall. It was therefore never easy going for these two batsmen. Hamid's first ever innings at this level saw him strike three fours in a 119 ball stay, which saw him survive for two and a half hours. He was out for 28 when he was trapped in the crease by Graham Wagg and LBW. Even though the two openers had taken plenty of shine off the ball, conditions remained testing for the batsman. But Brown passed a 50 for the seventh time in 12 championship innings off 124 balls, this being one of his eight fours in that. Alviro Peterson was now with him and he took on David Lloyd. This just one of three boundaries the South African struck off the all-rounder in the space of four deliveries. Lloyd, however, exacted his revenge just before tea when Peterson, with 29 runs to his name, drove the bowler to Chris Cook in the covers. Brown, meanwhile, having an excellent time with the bat since moving to the top of the order, went on. But he also lost Aswell Prince for four before the bad weather returned, the country's leading run scorer turning a short ball from Wag into the hands of Will Bragg. Brown and Croft added 19 more together before an early end to this day, Lancashire finishing on 161 for three, with Brown still there needing 20 more runs on the second morning for an elusive second first-class 100, one he's come so very close to getting on more than one occasion this year.